Hello guys my name is Rohit Kumar Thakur and in this video I will show you how to build a data science web application. Yeah that's true uh, you can use your Jupyter or Google Colab code and build an excellent data science web application. Uh, we are using Streamlight to get our job done. Streamlight is a very powerful Python library that uh, that helps you to use the data science project as a web application. You can see that this is the project demo uh, this is what we gonna build. Uh, you can see that I am running this uh, web application on a localhost server and here I am using New York traffic collision dataset. First uh, we gonna see where the most number of people get injured through maps. Uh, you can slide the slider and set the data according to your preferences. Next is uh, the how many collisions occur at a, a given time of the day. You can set the time uh, like I wanna see the data between 6 am to 7 am. The map shows the number of collisions at a given spot. Uh, you can use this data to keep in mind that uh, which street is dangerous at a given period of day time. At last, uh, we gonna see the top 10 dangerous street by affected type. The affected type include motorists, cyclists and the pedestrians. This is the raw data on which we are working on. Let's start this project. I would recommend you to start this project in a virtual environment because uh, building any python based project in a virtual environment is a good practice. And if you don't know how to start a project or set up a virtual environment in uh, windows and linux then check out the link in the description. I made a separate video on that. Now uh, just install the streamlight. It's a simple PIP installation uh, but it may take some time to install based on your system performance and the internet connection. Now make a python file inside the virtual environment and import the required libraries uh, which we are gonna use in this project. Here uh, we also have to install these python packages. So follow the video and install it accordingly. Now let me show you how Streamlight works. We start with a simple title. You can simply run the Streamlight project using the command streamlight run file.py. Okay, uh, here I missed a python library so install it and then run the application.
you can see that uh, we have a decent looking dashboard of streamlight we are running this on our localhost server uh, these are the feature of streamlight you can try it out uh, manually Let me show you one more cool thing of Streamlight. Uh, you don't have to reload the localhost URL uh, just every time you save your application. Streamlight has this cool feature of a smart reload. You just have to uh, save the code and it just automatically render in our localhost server. Now let's see how you can use Markdown. Uh, you can see that uh, with the help of hashtags, uh, you can manage the size of your Markdown. It's crazy, right? Uh, one more thing, uh, let's suppose uh, you want to know the documentation of something. Uh, for example, uh, let's suppose Markdown. You just have to write something like this and boom, uh, you will see the full documentation of Markdown on the Google Chrome tab screen. That's it for these videos. This video is all about the project demo, introduction to the Streamlight, installation of Streamlight and showing you guys how it works. Now in the next video, we will start working on, on our New York Collision dataset. So see you in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe this channel for more project based videos on React Native, Python, Data Science, Django and Machine Learning.